Last week, I quit my job. Again. I still have another job working in student support, but the one that I quit was starting to drive me insane. It all started back in 2016 when I was offered a job marking for two similar computer science courses. Now of course, I've studied computer science, but I had no interest in these two topics whatsoever. Both were focused on the collection, storage and management of data. Yeah, I know. Thrilling. However, regardless of the topic, I thought marking would be a fairly easy gig. It's good money and I can do it from home. And in 2016 and 2017, that's exactly what happened. But then in 2018, the course examiner asked if I could start running the tutorials. I was a bit hesitant, but then everyone started telling me that it would be great for my career, so I begrudgingly complied. I was starting to have too much work and it was beginning to prevent me from pursuing my real interests, for example, making videos for Daily Rant Australia. Then this year came about 2019. The course team decided to change the structure of the program where the postgrads no longer had to complete a project, but instead had to complete unique assignments and sit exams, all of which I was responsible for marking. So up until recently, I've been marking two courses, both undergrads and postgrads. I've been running the tutorials, I've been doing extra marking, a real pain in the butt, mind you, and I've been holding down my student support job. All the while, I've been trying to make videos for this YouTube channel and have got the Australian government on my back saying that my wife is thousands of dollars in debt due to me earning too much money. Something has to give. But then, a blessing in disguise came. Just a couple of months ago, the course team asked if I could start running the lectures and managing the student forums from 2020. All of this on top of what I'm already doing. It would be a full-time job doing something that I hate. The one thing that I've been actively trying to avoid. I didn't have to decide immediately because it's not until next year, but finally, the deadline arrived last week. What did I do? I quit everything. I quit the marking. I quit the tutorials. I refused to do the lectures and I said I won't be doing the forums. From 2020, I'll be going back to two days casual employment a week working one-on-one -on -one with students. The computer science course team pushed me too far and wanted me to do too much and I was sick of it. I had enough. And that's been the story of my life, doing stuff that I don't like doing because everyone tells me that it's the right thing to do. But I'm a 40-year-old man for crying out loud. I'm not in high school anymore. I've decided that from 2020, I'm going to start doing what I really want to do. Life's too short to do what you hate. I don't like information systems and data management, so why would I waste so much of my life doing it? Just for a bit of extra coin? Just for a bit of extra prestige? Actually, there is no prestige. When I tell people that I work in information systems and data management, people look at me a bit strangely and then usually give me a sarcastic reply. Wow, interesting. Believe it or not, 2019 was meant to be the year that I stopped doing all these things that I don't like doing and start pursuing my passions. Man, I really f***ed that up. Sorry, but that's how I feel. Being overworked is not a nice feeling. Doing a job that you hate is a real waste of your life. From 2020, I'm going to become a metaphoric gardener, clearing the weeds so the crops may grow. If this motivates you to do the same, I'm glad, because too many of us are working jobs we hate in the futile pursuit of money and prestige. My goal in 2020 is to spend more time with my family and to focus more of my time on this channel. I hope it starts to show, but knowing life and my severe lack of optimism, something else will pop up and just f*** everything up. Cheers.